Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. I'm Mark, and what you see here is the Lockheed C-130, one of the oldest aircraft in service in the world, but also one of the world's most used. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is a military transport aircraft designed by the United States in the early 1950s. It had remarkable success with more than 2,000 units built in more than 50 different countries. And even after more than 60 years, it remains in frequent use and is still produced. In 1951, after the blockade of Berlin and the beginning of the Korean War, the United States wanted to modernize its fleet of carriers, consisting mainly of C-47 Skytrains and C-119 Flying Boxcars. The U.S. Air Force launched a request for an assault transport aircraft that could carry 64 paratroopers, take off and land on rudimentary runways, and operate with an engine out of service. In 1952, the U.S. Air Force chose the Lockheed Project called YC-130A and ordered two prototypes. On August 23, 1954, the first flight took place in Burbank, California, and on December 9, 1956, the C-130A Hercules was put into service in the U.S. Air Force. The C-130 was designed with a sturdy frame to land on unprepared surfaces such as beaches or grass runways. The dimensions of the aircraft's cargo hold allow the C-130 to carry equipment such as lightly armored personnel carriers, trucks, boats, etc. Since its inception, over 40 different versions of the Hercules have been designed. Among its versions, three versions make Hercules an unusual aircraft. The first version is the AC-130, which is an air support aircraft intended to provide fire support for ground-based units. Developed to replace the AC-47 Spooky during the Vietnam War, it also served in other arenas. The specific purpose of this plane is to shoot guns whose axis of fire is perpendicular to the axis of flight. This arrangement allows several weapons installed along the fuselage to be fired at the same time. Several different gunships are based on the C-130, such as the AC-130 Spec and the AC-130U Spooky. The AC-138 is armed with two 20mm M61 Vulcan guns, a 40mm Bofors L60 gun, and a 105mm M102 short barrel, which is the largest caliber gun ever mounted on a plane. On the spooky AC-130U, the Vulcan is replaced by a 25mm GAU-12U equalizer. This aircraft is only in service in the United States Air Force, and its crew usually consists of 12 to 13 men. Another peculiarity of the Hercules is that it can also be used in the fight against forest fires. After the Laguna Fire in 1970, which overwhelmed existing firefighting resources, the U.S. Congress decided to establish the Modular Airborne Firefighting System Program, or MAFFS. Designed to be loaded into the cargo hold of a Lockheed C-130 Hercules and initially allow the release of 10,000 liters of water, the MAFFS has evolved to reach a capacity of more than 11,000 liters. The latest generation now allows the carrying of a mixture of water and retardant product, and the water can now be released through a side opening in the fuselage of the aircraft without having to depressurize the cabin before each launch. Airplanes with MAFFS require a total crew of six, who are trained each year with USFS Air Operations personnel. Nearly 50 years after its creation, the modular airborne firefighting system continues to be actively used, mainly because of the most recent fires the United States has experienced. Another remarkable version of the Hercules is the special version, equipped with a ski landing gear and equipment suitable for missions in the Arctic or Antarctic. Built in the mid-1950s and named Lockheed LC-130 Hercules, it takes the outline of the conventional Lockheed C-130 Hercules. The notable differences are the removable skis, 
as well as the attachment points of the JADOs on the side of the fuselage. The JADO is a rocket engine system that provides extra power during takeoff. Four of these rockets are installed on each side of the Hercules fuselage and are generally used when the LC-130 is operating on uneven snow surfaces or when the takeoff distance is too short. The LC-130 is equipped with three skis. They are all removable and attached to the landing gear of the aircraft. These skis are large enough to allow the plane to easily navigate on snow and ice. The LC-130 is still in use today, and one of its primary missions is the supply and operational support of the McMurdo Antarctic Base. On October 30, 1963, a KC-130 achieved the historical record for the heaviest aircraft to have ever landed and taken off on an aircraft carrier. Piloted by Lt. James H. Flatley, the aircraft managed to make 21 landings and takeoffs. The tests performed on the USS Forrestal had to specify whether the C-130 was capable of operating on an aircraft carrier. Although the tests on the aircraft carrier were a success, the U.S. Navy decided to commission the smaller Grumman C-2 Greyhound transport aircraft instead as the operations with the C-130 were considered too risky. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done it yet, don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos, and if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content like this. Thanks, and stay tuned for the next video.